In all seriousness, even though it wasn't as important to me, it was pretty cool when not long after that, you got your first action figure and crossed it off our list. But the fact we had different priorities is partly what made this work, because let's be honest, if we'd been competing for the same things, I'm not sure we could have been friends. You were just always so driven to be the best. Maybe, but it's not like I was only focused on individual goals. Like, what about when we went to SmackDown Live and I ended up teaming with someone who was a great influence and mentor to me? I'm talking about Mickey James, of course! Stand up and take a bow, Mickey, you deserve it. You fought hard, but it just wasn't your night. Let's face it, it hasn't been your night in a long time. Now, as general manager of SmackDown Live, it's my job to present a cutting-edge product, which means constantly introducing new talent to keep our brand fresh and exciting. But we can't add new talent without making subtractions. So I'm sorry, Mickey, but based on your recent performance, you can either announce your retirement, or unfortunately, I'll have to make that decision for you. Wait, so you're basically forcing her out? She deserves better than that. I understand where you're coming from. But like I said, this is bigger than one person. It's about protecting the brand. There would be no brand without women like Mickey James. You know what? It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I've been doing this a long time, and maybe I've lost a step. Maybe it's just time to hang it up. No! You can't just accept this. There has to be another way. Well, there is one other option, but it would just be delaying the inevitable. Mickey can continue competing on SmackDown Live, as long as she wins. But the very next match she loses is her last. She'll do it. I will. All right. Good luck. Look, I appreciate the support, but with my record as of late, I don't think I'll be sticking around too long. Or maybe you will with me by your side. Oh, what do you mean? Big Show didn't say you had to win singles matches. Are you sure you want to set aside your own goals to do this? There's nothing I'd rather do than protect your legacy by sending you out on a winning streak. And one last title run. Win Women's Tag Team Championships with Mickey James. Welcome everyone to the most iconic talk show ever, Iconic Talk, with your hosts, The Iconics. We just said Iconic so many times. You said it again. I think we just set a record. Speaking of records, I want to remind everyone that we are now the longest running women's tag team champions ever from Australia. They're also the only women's tag team champions from Australia. Which brings us to my favorite segment of Iconic Talk. It's time for Why, Why Australia, Australia is, is better. better. This is a part of the show where we educate our audience on different aspects of Australian culture and explain Why Australia is better. Okay, what do we have this week? The great sport of cricket. Which has nothing to do with filthy little insects. No, it's actually a sport that is very popular in Australia. Think of it like a way better version of your horrible, dull baseball. To further educate you on this superior sport, let's go over the laws of cricket, shall we? There are only 42 of them. Shouldn't take long. Law one, a cricket team consists of 11 players, including a captain. That's a great law, one of my favourites. Now, law two. Hey, what are these two doing out here? There were still 41 laws to go. I wanted to learn more about cricket. I think you were the only one. Law two. The Iconics should never be allowed to have a talk show as it'll put everyone watching to sleep. That's not an actual law. Yeah, don't listen to her. Why are you two even out here? It's very rude to interrupt someone's talk show. I recommend you go back and watch this segment we did on manners. We're here because we want a tag team championship match. So you two are a team now? 
<laughs> what are you calling yourselves? Red and grey. <laughs> because Mickey's so old, get it? Hilarious, she really is a fossil. You've never even teamed before, so what makes you think you deserve a shot at our titles? Maybe because eight years ago in Calgary, I beat you in my very first match, and I've only gotten better since then. Way better. Oh, okay, so you're saying since a long time ago, I felt bad for my pathetic opponent and basically took the night off because I was freezing, that a decade later, when that pathetic opponent rears her ugly head with an elderly partner, they deserve a tag title opportunity? Makes sense. That was sarcasm. The answer is no. <laughs> if you think that we need to prove ourselves as a team, then we'll do it right now in a non-title match. If we win, we get a championship match. And if you win, you end my career. That whole career-ending stipulation is enticing. Yeah, I forgot about that. It would be nice to put her out to pasture. We'll do it. But only after we finish teaching everyone about cricket. Law three, never interrupt the Iconics. The Iconics viciously attack Red and Mickey with those cricket bats. And rightfully so, they violated law three. Red and Mickey are going to be at a severe disadvantage going into this match with so much at stake. If you're just joining us, this is a nine title match with the stipulation that if Red and Mickey can defeat the Iconics, they earn a shot at their tag team titles. However, if the Iconics win, Mickey James' career will be over. And Red and Mickey are clearly not 100% after that brutal attack by the Iconics. Look, no one wants to see a pioneer like Mickey James have her career come to an end, but it's going to happen sooner or later, and I have a feeling it'll be sooner. As in tonight, at the hands of the tag team champions. Oh, face first. Stop pulling a oh. leg snap. Well, that's going to hurt. Tear your hamstring. Set him up for the side rushing leg sweep. Crusher. She's enduring some damage. I really like the resolve we've seen from her in this tag team match, guys. Though, I wouldn't be against the tag here. You know, just so she can gather herself a bit. Outrageous athleticism on the Hurricanrana. An explosion of offense from Mickey James. Yeah, she's able to tap into an energy source few others can. Bam! What a slam! A striking blow. Oh, straight forearm. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. She's looking a bit out of it here. Tagged in. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers. Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bockwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. Struggling to get to the corner here. Might not make it, Michael. She's so close to making the tag. And if she doesn't, I don't see how they can win this thing. That's how important this tag is right now. There's the tag, guys. Man, she needed that. Tough situation to be in right here. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, the New Day, the Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus. I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. Hoping to make a tag here. 
And it sounds like there are a lot of people here tonight hoping for the exact same thing. So close, just a little bit more. Oh, but it's those last few inches that are always the toughest. Ouch. Oh, another oh, one for good measure. Face buster. Ali up and down. Russian leg sweep. Absolutely has to make a tag here. Yeah, but that's easier said than done, Michael. Oh, look at his aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. Ooh, what an elbow. A barrage of elbows over and over again. Eludes the attack. Tag made. Oh, my God! Right back into their own corner. Desperately trying to get to the corner now. It's not going to be easy, though, Michael. She has enough power to get to her corner to make the tag. To the gut. Double underhook. Are we going to see it? The pay window beckons. This is not good. I don't think Billy can. Oh, look, look. Here we go. One, two. And there's the save. Oh. Nice. That would need to wake you up or knock you out. This is dangerous right here. All the way for the top. And it's Billy Kay showing some agility. That is a great reversal. All on the apron, lifting it up into the ring. Bam, suplex. There it is. And down with the suplex. Up and boom. Knee drop right on target. Right across the face. Wicked body shot. She's looking relentless now. She's on the attack and on the move. Oh my. Down with authority. And off the tag. Versus, can she take advantage? Double underhook. Oh. Situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly. Really needs 
to get to the corner and make a tag. Otherwise, this match may be over sooner than later. She's getting closer, Corey. Yeah, but I'd hate to see what happens here if she doesn't make the tag. point in the match, guys. Definitely not. What a great job by Peyton Royce to take advantage. She is just too quick. Got out of the way in a hurry. Look at this. Massive double foot stomp. maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. Here we go. Peyton Royce was able to get out of the way there. She scores big with the count. Another big move. There it is. Breaker. She just created a prime opportunity. Hoping to end it here. Looking dominant at times in the victory. Now that's having a game plan and executing it to perfection. What a great tag team match. Thanks for watching, everybody.